Yo, okay, so what are we gonna do today? I think what we might do is take one of these apart. So this is my Korg Volker sample. Um, this is a little sample jukebox sort of music making box that I got um, a little while ago and it is it's quite a cool little device. The only problem with this is that it, it gets the panel, as you may be able to see, gets quite dirty and if you don't have a little um, saver, like a little plastic saver for it, it um, does not do well and they get a lot of dust in there. So the plan for today is to try and take this panel off and clean it and then also take it apart and show you what's inside, what's in the box. Cool, so what I tried, so we'll start off with um, these, there's these little screws here, I think that they, when I tried to undo those before, they didn't really undo, so that's going to be a problem, because it would be nice to be able to take these off and actually be able to just like clean it, but I do not think that it's possible. So, let's turn it over, there's a whole bunch of screws in here, um, screws here, 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 there's lots, so let's start by taking those apart and um, see what we can get. See how far we can get. So I'm just going through and taking all these out. All these big ones and little ones. These little mu music boxes are quite um, fun little devices to play with. Um, if anyone has actually had a go at these before, it'll be quite interesting for you to see what's inside, what makes these things work. So I thought I would show, show you and just figure why not. Take all these screws out. And these screws. I'm quite excited to see what's inside this thing because I have always wondered what's inside these little cork bulkers. All right. One more. It feels a lot, it feels very loose now, so. Let's see if we can get all this out. Oh, that's an interesting one that doesn't actually come out. Alright, so it feels like it has come apart or is coming apart. It looks like it has got some sort of movement in the. Oh, look at that. Okay, so pretty straightforward little device on the inside. You can see we've got a speaker wire which we will just carefully sort of maneuver around. And once I get this out of the way, I will show you what I see inside. Okay, it's out. Alright, so that's pretty much it. It's not really a lot to it. Um, you can see why these the panel didn't want to come off. Um, there is bolts on these, so I'm guessing they do make them to come apart, just they're not as easy as you would think. So this is the top panel. As you can see, the top panel is like this. And this is what we've got inside. So it looks like these things actually have some sections for um, re-soldering or wiring different things into them. I, I know a lot of people circuit bend these things and add extra bits and pieces to them. So it's quite a cool little device, really. Um, so what we'll do, we will continue to take this apart see how far in it goes. Put these little ones in. Move them out of the way. And this one is quite an early number. Um, so it's got like a, it's got a very, very early serial number. And so it's one of the earlier ones. In fact, one of the first ones, this is number 270. So 
quite an early number. Um, I think these, like on the, all the other bulkers I've got, are in the thousands. Very high number. So I'm guessing it's they've, they've made a lot of these devices. But, let's see. Let's see how far the rabbit hole goes. Okay. Almost there. Take this one off as well. Screwdrivers are really good. They do help me with a lot of. All right, just undo that. Okay, right. So, is it movable? Ah, okay. So, what I did notice is it has these little encoder. These two, these things here. So, I'll get them off. So it's not a lot, there's a lot of um, a lot of these um, very cool sort of knobs, but it does allow you to, so that's cool because that means I can actually clean it now, so that's what I ultimately wanted to do. So it's not actually too bad, um, a few screws, a couple of plugs to undo, um, you end up with this little, the little circuit board which looks like it's the main brain of it. Um, so there's that brain and then there's this panel which I'm pretty sure is part of this encoder and the buttons. But um, it allows me now to clean these, which is, has gotten terrible. Um, so I'm going to do that. And um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. And then once we've finished, I will put it back together and show you what it looks like when it's running. Okay, right. So I've got a little cloth here. Um, and this will allow me just to clean it up. I just, just put a little bit of water on there. I didn't want to go to... I don't want to put any chemicals or anything on it, um, but oh man, it's, it's looking like new again. These things do get very dusty, so it's kind of, it's nice to be able to do the maintenance on these and just be able to clean them up. Um, should come up nicely when I'm done. I'm happy with that. It's not going to get a lot better. Right, so there we go. All cleaned up. Looking a lot better than what it was, that's for sure. These buttons are still, still a little bit of stuff around the buttons, which I'm guessing we could take right out if we really need to. But, for the most part, that's much better. Right, so we'll reassemble it, and then um, you'll see what it looks like when it's back together and running. So, what I had before is this panel goes on top. really a lot to these things um, when you think about it but they make a heck of a lot of awesome noise and they're really really fun little devices to play with uh, if anyone has ever had actually experience on these things you should comment down below on my video they are quite fun I've, um, I've enjoyed using these quite a lot in the past so I've um, made quite a lot of music on one of these devices and uh, I have four of them so I will have to do the cleaning like this on all of the others so you'll get to see inside all of my bulkers um, and you'll be able to know that you can do it yourself if you ever need to clean them up because they're not easy to clean around those little um, control pots on there um, which is which kind of gets in the way and does actually make it quite difficult to clean so we'll just put these back in be interested to see what other people have done to the circuit boards on these I do know that you can definitely do a lot of modifications on them um, and they do come out so let me just make sure that's lined up in the right place okay so one thing that might be a good idea before you do everything up is actually make sure everything's lined up properly which I have not done because what's happening now is the MIDI font is not going in. There we go, that's better. Alright, let's try that again. 
Um, I have a few um, other machines that I've actually hand circuit bent myself, so I will actually show you how and what I've done with those. I do have, um, as you may have seen on my channel, I do like to circuit bend old, you know, old like synthesizers and old keyboards, um, especially ones by, especially the Casios. The Casios are really, really fun to just take apart and you know just just have a play with and see what you can. We can make them do. They just they they can come up with some incredible sounds. <laughs> That's something I've found. So okay, we'll plug this little control piece back in. Make sure it's got a nice firm connection in there. Flip it around. Plug this back in. Like so. way cleaner happy with that now we just put the screws back in so there's a few big fat screws here which goes in the corners which we'll put in first because those are for alignment and actually just the actual device itself the smaller ones I think just kind of help keep it all together but you do have the bigger screws in the corners here Now, um, people make quite a lot of interesting music on these little devices, and it's quite cool how they can link up together. Um, I've been still been trying to, I will be getting one of the newer, um, there's a new um, drum machine version that has come out, uh, which I've heard a lot of good reviews about. It's definitely one I wanted to go check out. Um, so if you have one of those and you quite like it, why don't you reply, comment on my video and see. Let me know what you, what you think of it. and. Um, I might actually take one of those apart and see what's inside those too because it's definitely something that I've done. For me it's like taking apart electronics has been one of my things I've always done as a kid so something I've carried on through my child, from my childhood through to my adulthood life. Um, so it's definitely something, I'm just, I guess you would say I'm inquisitive when it comes to what's inside and what's running these things. So. You'll see more of these videos hopefully soon. It's always interesting to see what's inside. I'm always interested. Don't always get the. I'm not always that good at putting them back together, but this one's not too bad. <laughs> I have been known to put things back together with screws missing, but hey, what can you say? <laughs> Just make sure all these screws are back in. Probably not using the right head on the screwdriver. So it slips a little bit. I can't really do it super tight, but that's okay. I don't really want to have them super tight. Just tight enough so that they don't. Any issues? So much nicer with that. Got all the stuff marks here, but all right. It's a bit loose, but they're not too bad. Those those things. I mean, they've always been loose. So look at that. That looks way, way, way better than all the stuff that was inside the um inside these panels were really messy before. So happy with that. All right. So let's get some batteries in this thing, and I'll show you how. Okay, so I've got some batteries here. Oh. I usually use um, rechargeables for these because it does actually, the batteries, the battery life on these aren't that bad, like it does last a relatively good amount of time, but I always like the old rechargeables. Alright, so I have got some good programming, or well, I've done a little bit of programming on this one, so let's power it up. Pretty cool, isn't it? Okay, so I think if we, I quite like how the little, it's, it's quite fun how you got the little, so you have all the, each little device, each piece has its own, 
sound. And um, <laughs> let's see if something is set right. There you go, so that's running good. Turn down a bit. So they have a little speaker in the back which gives it. So this is just the sound that I've got programmed. Yeah. So there you go. Back to normal. I'm nice and clean. <laughs>